Hey, what's up? I'm Matt. Three years ago, I wrote a script for a video called I Met Jesus Today, and it was the first time that I wrote a script for a video where I would talk to myself outside, something I've since done many more times, and it looked like this. Are you Jesus? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's me, Jesus. Wow, aren't you cold? No, I'm Jesus. It was fine. Well, no, it actually looked like shit. So I thought it'd be fun to try to make it again with the same script, but you know, a little less choppy. By the way, I should probably mention this isn't gonna be a big in-depth thing, just a nice and easy look into what goes on. So grab a mineral water and, you know, enjoy. So we're in this woods. Um, the camera situation is thus. Let me show you. It is looking at me, it has a microphone on top of it, and that is not the microphone I will use because I will use this one that is attached to me. Over here is my backpack with my water bottle. I need water because I drink so much water that it's, it's unhealthy. I'm usually not set up on a trail like this because I don't want people coming by. I just heard an animal and now I'm scared. You can do this with other people as well. I just do it by myself because I don't always have someone available, so I find it easier to just have a tripod and then just come out here and kind of just do it with a tripod. Because then it's like you don't have to rely on anybody. I just keep stepping in shit. But like definitely if you have a friend, <laughs> a friend, it's more fun when you have some more people around you. And I miss having friends to do this with. Please hold for a very important message. It's important to write so that it's like a conversation, you know, don't write when you're writing it and you hear the conversation. I feel for me, Hold on, rate this leg cross out of 10. Pretty good, hey? When I am writing, I'm thinking of two things. Women, drugs. I'm kidding. Anytime I'm writing a sketch where it's a conversation with myself, I just kind of talk out loud. I never have a plan in mind of where I want to arrive. I just think of a situation that wherever, if it comes to me while I'm on a walk or just taking a poo or whatever, I'll write it down and then come back to it later and start writing a situation with two silly characters. Is it perfect on the first try? No. So what I'll usually do, and I've talked about this before, is I'll call my friend Colin and he'll help tell me what he thinks is good and what he thinks is not as good. But I think for me, it's very important that he is a part of the writing and editing the script process. Just to get like a second pair of eyes on it, because if I'm writing things cold and then I, I only see it, sometimes I can become biased in what it is I'm writing and I can become, you know, kind of infatuated with something that I've written, even though if, if there's a flaw there that I don't see, just because I'm like, oh, that was funny when I thought about it the first time. And then even though if it doesn't work in the grand scheme of things overall after, I don't notice that because I'm just so caught up in like, aha, I'm pretty funny, that's funny to me. He tells me when he thinks something isn't that great and that's good because I want that. I know that he does not say it to be a jerk he's just saying it because he has my best interest at heart even though his heart is this big dude ah oh, too far away idiot so i'm just gonna back up and kind of position myself in the left side of the frame so that i'm giving myself some space right i'm looking this way i'm gonna give myself more space more shit i want to be positioned this way so that i'm looking at open space it would be really if i'm having a conversation like this how annoying does that look hey man how have you been and then we're ready to rumble the wind's hustling the only thing that can get in your way now is birds and wind i've had my fair share of problems with birds and wind last one here we go wind f off you bitch. But the wind yeah, but if we're being honest those are pretty like rudimentary you fucking, I'm going to fuck every bird. Hey kiddo, it's me, your dad, Matt. I wanna take a second to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. I was actually pretty hyped when Skillshare reached out because it's a service that I've been using for a couple of years. They don't pay me to say that, it's genuinely the truth. Uh, they do pay me to say what I'm about to say though. Skillshare, good. Huh. One course that I actually have been taking lately is Amy Vitale's documentary photography capturing places and people. I find me, I can always get caught up in whether or not I have the right gear or that, you know, I don't know anything about it, so why start sort of thing. But she explained difficult concepts very simply and was very encouraging to someone like me with little experience and not the right amount of gear that you think you should have. So maybe you'll find the same thing. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership and after that it's only around ten dollars a month it's a no-brainer click it see what happens thank you skillshare for sponsoring this video you've put me one step closer to putting a down payment on that yacht hi uh welcome to the spare room in my uh where my desk is this is where i edit 
where the magic happens, some say. To demonstrate a couple of the editing tips I want to show you, I've taken a six second clip from the sketch and I want to show you how I cut them together a little bit. We're going to start with how I do it really poorly and then how I do it slightly less poorly, which is what you end up seeing. Uh, this, first of all, I'm looking in the mirror. First, I want you all to comment, Matt, you have such a nice back. Good job. So the first level here is just kind of straight out of the camera. Yeah, that's me, Jesus. Wow, aren't you cold? No, I'm, I'm Jesus. There's a lot of dead space that we need to get rid of, okay? And also this guy here, this one I, real, I didn't realize when I was filming, it's way too zoomed out. So we're gonna zoom that in over here a little bit uh, and then we'll come over here and this is what it's done. So this dead space is now gone. Uh, and this is what it looks like. Yeah, that's me, Jesus. Wow, aren't you cold? No, I'm, I'm Jesus. What I also want to introduce here is that instead of just jumping from this clip to this clip, I want to kind of make it a little more smoother. So we'll introduce something called L and J cuts, which is what this is over here. So we'll utilize the space in, in uh, the video two track and, and uh, the other audio tracks. Just uh, there's, you got an endless amount of tracks you can use, so utilize it. Yeah, that's me, Jesus. Wow. Aren't you cold? No, I'm, I'm Jesus. So all that I've done there is that this kind of looks like an L, and if you go over here, this, I guess, you know, can kind of make the shape of a J, you know? So it, it just eases the clip before it into the next, so it kind of seems like they're speaking to each other instead of just saying something back and forth, like, now it's your turn, now it's my turn. Finally, the last thing that I'll really do is just kind of dick with the audio a little bit so that it kind of fades in and fades out so that it's not choppy when it pumps in, especially with a shitty mic like the one that I have. If when you're filming, you have a little bit of dead space between takes, like you just don't say anything and just kind of have that room tone or the outdoor tone and you can just kind of let that flow in and kind of let those two sounds uh, mesh together and then it sounds like a smooth transition rather just in case you know in one take if it's windier than it is in the in the next so you know it kind of just flows in a little easier yeah that's me jesus wow Aren't you cold? No, I'm, I'm Jesus. Absolutely, this is not the extent of it, but it's just all that I need to do to make it look like I'm kind of talking to myself. And that's it. Well, gee golly, that's all it takes, eh? <laughs> sure is. Like I said, this wasn't meant to be a big in-depth video, and it wasn't because what I do for these sketches can't really be unpacked much further. I don't know why I always do that voice whenever I do voiceovers. I don't, <laughs> I don't talk like that. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Here's the sketch. <laughs> Are you Jesus? Yeah, that's me, Jesus. Wow, aren't you cold? No, I'm, I'm Jesus. Jesus doesn't get cold? Well, I'm Jesus and I'm not cold, am I? Fair point, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right. Hey, but how, what's it like being Jesus? Uh, you know, it's pretty lame nowadays. Nobody wants to fight me anymore. Jesus, you're a fighter? Oh, I certainly am. I'm a blue belt in karate. I've never met a fighter before. <laughs> can you show me some moves? Yeah, I sure can. Wow, that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with you, Jesus. Thanks. What's wrong, Jesus? Nothing. I, I just wish my dad was here to see this. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's all right. It's just he's always busy answering prayers and watching football, so he's never got time for me. You know what, Jesus? I think he'd be really impressed with your moves. You think so? I know so. 